Hey guys, and welcome back to another card review. So, uh, you know how I went ahead and talked about the Satello Knight Monsters, and how I talked about the Hero cards. Well, uh, since I went off from them, and the time that I went off from them, they actually got some new cards that I haven't talked about. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about them, and make sure that they're in the playlist to make sure that I talk about all the cards, because uh, I want to. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys know, I want to make a Satello Knight deck in real life i am interested in the cards and i like stars so why not i have constellars and i want to tell heights as well so uh once again they got another card i've already talked about sirius i've already talked about uh procyon so i need to talk about uh beetles Be Be beetles i don't know beetles i'm gonna call them beetles <laughs> it's like i call ooh, ooh what's his name Unu Kahal? I, I just call him Uka. I don't know. I got it. And these, 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 these names are too hard for me. I, I can't speak. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be going ahead and look at this monster. So, Satellan Knight Beetle is a uh, light level 4 warrior with 700 attack and 1900 defense. So, yeah, at least he has a nice booty, but that's 700 attack. Them stats remind me of, uh, remind me of Sheridan. Actually, are, are those the same stats as Sheridan? Let me see. I think they might actually be the st same exact stats as Sheraton. Yep, 700, 1900. Yep. Wow, all right. <laughs> I had to look that up. I'm like, wait, did they have the same exact stats? Yeah, they do. But they don't have the same exact effect because Deneb is the Sheraton of uh, the Satellas. Anyway, his effect reads, you can only use the effect of Satellan Ibeel once per turn. All right. Uh, if this card is summoned, you can target one Satellan card in your graveyard. Card, except for Satellan Knight this guy sending that card to the graveyard and if you do add that target to your hand all right so it's a uh, pretty much a one for one uh, you go ahead and send this card to grab a card it's as simple as that. It's a simple exchange it's it's full metal Alch alchemist equivalent exchange so this card is okay this card is okay I wouldn't say it's 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 good all right all right <laughs> I'm, I'm flame on someone right now all right slate this card is good. It's not broke. It's not crap. I know. I saw Reggie coming. You can see the one or the other. No. This card's good. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Now, what makes this card good slash okay and not just eh is the reason why you can grab card. That's the key word. Send. No. That you can grab. You can target one Satellanite card. That's what makes it good to okay. Because... I thought at first before really just reading it now, I thought that it was just monster. I thought that you went ahead and got a monster back and if it was summon this guy attributed to grab a monster back, then why would I really play this guy when I could just play Warrior Returning Alive? This and Warrior Returning Alive are pretty much the same exact card except this guy cost me my normal summon. I can go summon this guy, set, send him, go ahead and get my Deneb back. I just use my normal summon. So even if I wanted to go ahead and summon Deneb and search, I gotta wait a turn unless I'm playing double summon. Well, I could just go Warrior Returning Alive, grab back Deneb, summon Deneb, search. You see? So kinda Warrior Returning Alive and this, you know, you cut out the middleman. If, this, if these monsters want warriors, I could see it, but they're all warriors. So that's what I'm saying. I think Warrior Returning Alive would be the better card in a sense. But it depends on what kind of Satellar Knight deck you're really running. Because if you're running, you know, actual Satellar Knight spells and traps, then you might actually want to go ahead and summon this to go ahead and get back. Now, I went ahead and typed in Teller Knight and the trap didn't pop up. And when I was saying this, I thought that you could search for a trap. I thought that you could get back your counter trap, and apparently you can't. And if you could, that would have been awesome. What is the name of that trap? It's Alpha. It's something Alpha, right? What the, what the hell is the name of that trap? It is a uh, Stellar Nova. All right. So if it had the A, maybe. No, because it doesn't have Knight. So, no, you can't. So, uh... You can't grab the trap. And if you could grab the trap, then that would be awesome, you know? If you're recycling my counter trap, then that would be awesome. But you can't. So the only thing that you can really grab are the monsters and, I believe, some of the spells. You can grab back... Hold on, let me see. Uh, teller. It's just Teller, so it's not Sud Teller. It's Teller Knight. 
you can grab back uh, their, what's that, a field spell? Yeah, it looks like a field spell. Each Telonite monster exceeds gains 200 attack. While has sea materials, when a Telonite monster exceeds a monster, you could always target it. When attacking someone, Telonite card from your hand to the grave. Ah, that's not that good. Uh, you can get, uh, you can get, a uh, Sky Bridge. And Sky Bridge is a pretty okay card, you know. It'll be better when the deck gets more consistent. And, and it really, like I said, it depends on what kind of deck you're running. You know, if you're going to run a full Teller Knight deck and you're running all of them, then, you know, getting back a, uh, a Teller Knight Sky Bridge is actually pretty good. But if you're not and you're only running, like, you know, three Denebs and three, uh, Vegas and three Altairs, and you're not running anybody else, then it's really not worth it. And then the other one you can grab back is Alpha, which is an equip card. Monster gains 500 attack and defense. It's also unaffected by your opponent's card effects. That's pretty good. And if uh, you control a face-up monster, then tell that monster to destroy this card. Okay. So that's not terrible, too terrible either. So, it, like I said, it really depends on your deck. If you're, really, if you're running a, you know, a pure... Telenite build with all the cards and stuff, then he might be pretty good. But if you're going, you know, not that, you're not going pure, and you're and you're not running that many Telenite monsters, and you're not running the spells at all, and the only thing that you can really grab back with this guy is monsters, then I'd say run Warrior Returning Life. Warrior Returning Life, it's still a one for one, just like him, except you still get your normal summon. So, yeah. So, I don't think it's terrible. You know, uh, uh, if these guys, like I said, if these guys weren't warriors, I think that this card might be actually pretty good. You know, uh, uh, if they weren't warriors, then hey, I can go ahead and tribute this guy and grab my Altair back. And the next turn, I can summon Altair and summon this guy back and exceed or something. That'd be great. You know, you know, if they maybe reworded him to say if he didn't send himself, if you just got a plus, like, if you know, how you summon Deneb and Deneb searches from your deck. You don't have to tribute Deneb. You summon Deneb and search it. If you can go ahead and summon this guy and search and you didn't have and grab from the graveyard and you didn't have to send this card to the graveyard to add that target back, then he'd be much better. He'd be awesome. Because you can probably go, you know, you have like a Deneb in the graveyard. You can go, let's say you have Altair in the graveyard. You can go Vega, Vega summon Altair, Altair summon this guy back from the graveyard. Him, go ahead and grab you your uh, another Altair from the graveyard. XC, you know, like you know, he has to tribute himself, so it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a neg. So he's okay. He's okay. He's not terrible, but he's not great. He's not, you know, one of the pivotal cards. He's no, you know, he's no Vega Altair, uh, Deneb, or even Sirius at that level. I I put him. I put him in the same boat as Uka, where you can use him, he'll help, but it's not completely necessary to use him. He's okay. Just like Uka. Alright, so I hope that this video was entertaining. Go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this guy in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' response. Maybe I'm missing something about this card, but yeah, that's my opinion on him. So uh, next time, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about talking about uh, Elemental Hero and Blaze because I haven't talked about him yet. But then I can go ahead and talk about other telecards because I like this deck and I want to make it. So I can go ahead and talk about them. But I, I don't know. There's a lot of cards I can talk about. There's over 5,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, I, you know, I can just talk about them all, right? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, discussion. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys Thursday with another card to talk about. Thanks for watching.